Hello and welcome to P2 Soccer Training. Today's session is an advanced level session for players age 11 to 14 and the topic is defending to deny space. For our warm up we're going to be in a 36 by 36 yard grid and players are going to be opposite each other standing with a ball in the middle. On the coach's command the players will race to the ball and we can add two small goals behind them that, that they must defend. Players will likely arrive very closely so it can be helpful to designate one attacker and one defender. From here it's just going to be a 1v1. Making it easier, we can decrease the size of the area. Making it harder, we can increase the size of the area. There's two coaching points here, angle of approach and speed, and you should definitely look at them before moving on. Our technical element of the session is going to be a 36 by 36 yard grid also, and you're going to divide it into two equal sections. Same setup as before, but now we will go 2v1. You will have this activity going on twice in each grid simultaneously. Ensure the players are grouped in fours or fives and ensure they get rest in between reps. It should be a high intensity drill, so they should be getting tired. Making it easy, we can decrease the size of the area. Making it harder, we can have the defender have a ball and they must hit the attacker's ball to stop them. There's two coaching points here, body shape and delay or direct. And you should definitely read the summaries on the plan. In our tactical element, it's a 24 by 24 yard grid with a six yard channel each end. You may need to set this up a couple of times if you have lots of players. There's also going to be a goal at each end. It's going to be 3v3 or 4v4 and the goal is to try and get to the other side and score a goal. One player from each team must stay in the end zone. If the ball goes in one of the end zones, the attacking teams can enter and try and get the ball if they want. The defending team must wait 5 seconds before one player can enter and then another 5 before another can. Encourage patient, calm defending and the object is to score in the goal after having the ball under control in the other team's channel. Making it easier, we can allow more players to defend the channel. And making it harder, we can add a neutral all-time attacking player and increase the time of delay for the supporting of the defender to enter. The first coaching point is spatial awareness on this and you should definitely familiarize yourself with this. And at the end of our session, it's game time. We're gonna play a small-sided game and we suggest playing 5v5 to keep all the players engaged. We suggest playing no goalkeepers and we're gonna have small goals to encourage accurate shots. To start with, we're going to instruct the players that they must dribble into an end zone. This could potentially be your penalty box or a coned off area. This will present lots of 1v1 situations where we can freeze play and assess what we've learnt during the session. But then we also advise that you give your players time to enjoy the scrimmage without any conditions. Making it real, we're going to assign positions, we're going to set a formation, we're going to help players understand their role within the game. And there's also a coaching summary on the session plan that you should familiarise yourself with. And thank you very much for watching and for more of these please visit us on YouTube or visit p2.soccer.